It's the reveal of what I've done to the mud truck so far. And there it is. So it originally started off as a HPI Crawler King stock, brand new, is around about 200 quid. And then I bought an Axial SCX10 chassis kit. We'll all have a look underneath the body and everything in, in a bit. Yeah, so I bought that. That was off, I think it was Wireless Madness. That was around about 70 or 80 quid. And then we got a front mounted servo for eBay off some seller. I can't remember what his name was, whatever. I think it's from America. So the shipping actually cost more than the actual part. But yeah, it was about 20 quid altogether. Got a bumper that was also off Wireless Madness, I think, as well. It's a Axial. SX10 JK Poison Spider Bumper. Uh, we've got the body, which is HPI Ford F150 Raptor body. It's also the opposite, the other body that comes on the other Crawler King. But oh, yeah, I like this body because it's all sprayed and everything. Uh, these wheels are off my Maverick Strider SC Evo short course truck. Don't know if I'm keeping these on, but they do fit really well with the wheel arches and stuff. And then we've got a custom plate under there, but I'll have a closer look. So on the body, it's an olive green from Tamiya, Tamiya paint I had, spray paint. Sprayed it, some bits were thicker, so there is patches of brown. You can't really see it, but in certain lights it sort of has a tinge of brown, which kind of looks alright. It's all stock electronics at the minute. So yeah, it's got quite a lot of articulation as well still. So it is basically a crawler king. Look, if it had bigger wheels, it would rub on there, so but it gets a lot of flex. Like all the wheels are on the ground and yeah. It's not that over. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so we'll take the body off now. And also in there quickly, I don't know if you can see this, map it upside down. There is a steering wheel and dashboard in there. And I didn't show that very well, but you can sort of see it. <laughs> Let's take the body clips off. So I got the Crawler King in August 2016. Now it's May. 2017 and I've done all this to it so we'll put the body to one side You'll probably see the inside but I'll just put the camera into the car kind of see the interior from below wow say interior it's just a dashboard yeah so here we go there's the SX10 chassis the crawler king sort of bit so these are still crawler king axles and everything Behind this plate, this is a piece of just plastic that I found, cut it up, covered it. That is, so the Coral King chassis sort of went up to about here and back there, but it didn't fit on with all these bits, as you can tell, so I've cut it. So that is just a piece of the Coral King chassis, so the same transmission bit, whatever you want to call it, transfer case thing, there, it all connects to the same bit, just so it all works right. Then S610 chassis just bolted onto it, suspension on it, it's connected. They are now one together. So that it does sit kind of forward, like a forward rake, which isn't too bad. Because that one goes into the transmission screw, that one sort of bolts on to nothing, but it holds it on. So yeah, I'll just put some stickers on that bit. Got massive articulation. Uh, yeah, so at the front, I've moved the axial. What's it called? <laughs> Batcher plate. There we go. I did originally have it facing forward, but I changed it up because the servo, when it goes up, it used to stop and hit about there. But because I've put it sideways, it goes all the way as much as the springs will let it go. You see from the side goes all the way as far as it can, doesn't hit or anything. All I did to do that was the zip tied it on through the I can't see what I zip tied it to, but I zip tied it to something. Uh, you can see it there anyway. 
I think it's just the yeah, zip tie to the shock mount, so it's on pretty securely. The bumper, we will be getting a winch at some point. I've got a little hook on there at the minute that's attached to some string that goes all the way to the back. We'll be getting a winch, so I don't know if I'm going to have this bumper for a winch because it's plastic. And I don't know if I need a metal one for a winch. Maybe I might be able to screw it on or something, but I don't know yet. I've added this bit back on. I didn't need that, but sort of a good lift point. Let's move that, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of there. It doesn't need to be there, but it is. Nothing in the back, so it's loads of up front weight. If you pick it up from here, it all lifts forward. Centre of gravity is like just. It's about central, but just over central so it's about there so it's pretty decent and then obviously when the battery's in it's about here so it's pretty good I want to get some new wheels then potentially but I don't know which wheels yet because I don't want massive wheels because the old wheels are probably about up to here I'll get a wheel now got a bag with them here so this is the old wheel that's the new wheel <laughs> that's massive compared to that yeah, I haven't even put these wheels on with that shell because I know it was rub. These are really so these are really good wheels, but I don't know yet. <laughs> I might be able to, but I'll have to cut up the other body again. So as you can see, obviously it'll sit about yeah, it'll give it loads more ground clearance, but I don't know yet. But yeah, that's the it's massive. <laughs> So we'll just get a better look at it all over from different angles. I like these axles. I think they're quite wide. I don't know how they compare to axial axles, but I think they're quite wide compared to them. And then in the future, potentially upgrading the electronics. I'd like to run a dual motor in there, but I don't know yet. Not there isn't any like actual aftermarket parts I don't think for doing that, but I could probably do it because like this isn't a thing that I've seen done before. I've sort of just gone with it because all of that. So I wanted a scaler, a trail truck type thing. This was a crawler. It's still a crawler, I'd say, but it's a mud truck type of crawler thing. You do get a lot of axles that have the bottom bit extended here. So it kind of looks like this, but yeah, the body posts at the back aren't really pinned down at the back, so it does the body just go back down a little bit if that's pushed down too hard. Do have a quad bike for the back as well, and some other scale type things to put on it, but I just don't put them on yet. And then we'll be getting to the running videos soon as it's pretty much ready.